Hey there guys, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, as Italy, we're taking it easy. And uh, this is episode number 4, I believe. Uh, how are we doing is probably the first question you would ask. We're doing okay. We're doing fine. Um... The for actually, the forces over here are stronger currently. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the... Oh, they just got there. Okay, so we're going to take these guys over to here for now. Um, one thing we could do is get marines. And like... Oh, nice. Industrial effort. Okay. So, we've got this. Finally, well, in 70 days we'll have that extra research slot. But, you can see here... Got two more factories up on that. Oh, we're actually missing some tungsten. Uh, we've got two more factories up on these artillery. Uh, so that's going to, you know, produce a lot more artillery. Uh, and we've got two on the fighters as well. So we need more oil. We need more rubber. Um, honestly, I'm going to keep it as is for now. Uh, once we increase our political power, the other thing I haven't shown you is the mobilization. So, uh, as... Uh, you can see here, we can't total mobilize, totally mobilize until uh, we're at war and any enemy country has more than 50% of Italy's total number of factories. Uh, what we can do, however, is we can take it to early mobilization. It decreases the construction speed, but uh, you can see here, consumer good factories in partial mobilizations is 20%. Uh, consumer goods factories is 20%. 5% in early mo- sorry, it's this one here. This is where we're going to. This is me being dumb. I thought early mobilization is better than partial mobilization. I'm wrong. Uh, so, so yeah, once we get to 150 political power, we can go to war economy. Gives us- uh, we need more than 50% war- uh, world tension. We have to be fascist or communist. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, if if we aren't fascist or communist, you know, there's other stuff we need. It reduces the number of co co consumer goods factories by to, by 5%, down to 15. Uh, military factory construction speed goes up by uh, 20%. So it lets us uh, build those faster, which is really nice. Uh, leadership purges in the Soviet Union, which means the Soviet Union just is uh, starting to get... Starting to recover from the rebellion. Rebellion from, well, you know what I mean, yeah. Uh, so, reduces, you, you see the national unity is down. Uh, the officers have been purged, which gives, it lasts until 1940. So, it means until 1940, uh, they're, they're a bit, they're a bit, yeah. Um, they're a bit slow to get going. Sleeping giant, you might say. Um... All right, so. Hmm. What do we want to do now? We could increase the speed for a bit, I guess. Uh. I, I, I just, I, like, because I know that this is pretty slow. Uh, but I want to find, like, a, a happy medium between... Okay, they're going off that way. I want to find a happy medium for the people who don't really get this game. I don't want to just speed through everything, you know? So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying not to go too slow, but at the same time, you know, fast enough so that those of you who know this game aren't going to get mega bored with me sitting here going, yeah, but no, but yeah, but no, but yeah, but no, but yeah, but yeah, but... Um, alright. I feel like for now, we don't need to increase, like, we're, we're making three close air support a month, you know... Uh, these don't really need to be made. Uh, the fighters will go up as the product efficiency goes up. Uh, we've got four slots to fill in these. I don't feel like we need to increase uh, these quite yet. I think very soon. Probably once we start producing... Wow, we do have a lot of aluminium. Uh, are we trading all our... No, we're, we're not trading anywhere near all of our aluminium. Which is a bit of a shame, almost. Hmm. Okay. That's fine, though. Uh, again, I don't, you know, we'll we'll maybe trade some uh, civilian factories later for oil and rubber. For now, I want them building so that we'll we'll get these civilian factories fairly quickly. 
And I think also for now, uh, we don't have much to do, so we will increase this to three. So we'll get this research slot as soon as possible. Where's the... Oh, it's down there still. Okay, so they're, they're still transporting. That's six more divisions, basically. That's pretty good. Uh, what we may be able to do... Our towed artillery... We could use more tungsten for that. Um... So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to add these uh, Alpine divisions. Uh, oh, the games are concluded. Oh, yay. Um, I don't know if we were even involved in them, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, we're going to add the Alpine divisions, because you can see here we've got hills, uh, hills, hills, some plains, got mountains and hills over here. Uh, more mountains, more hills. There's a lot of hills and mountains like going through here, basically. Um, so we're going to add them into here. Maybe, mm, yeah, you know what? Actually, that seems like a good idea. So we're going to add these guys in like this. Uh, and then the last set, who actually just uh, spawned, we're going to add into here. Because obviously there's hills around here. Not here, but they're still useful. And uh, what I think we will do is in this divis Divisione di Fanteria, we're going to add this support artillery. Artillery, way too useful. And if we add this in now, you can see our upgrades just shot up. Oh, did they not shoot up? Yeah, no, we, yeah, I was going to say, we do have a need for, for artillery. Where's the artillery? There it is. So, um, you know, we literally just increased massively the demand for artillery. So, um, we're going to have to start supplying that to all of these, uh, Division di Fanteria. And now we've actually completed, uh, we've actually completed the upgrade, the, these upgrades. So, sorry, we've completed the divisions, uh, so now we're starting to upgrade all of the, all of the other things that we need. Uh, you can see here... Can you see here? I thought you could see here. Um, how do you, is there updated? Out, outdated? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, okay, I thought we could see the outdated uh, stuff as well, but maybe not. Definitely not, unless there's somewhere I'm forgetting it should be. But anyway, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to speed through this a little bit. Uh, let's just add all of these guys to this, just in case no one's included. Uh, this guy is going to go over to here and join... Sorry, that's me being dumb. Uh, going to join these guys on this line. They're just here to defend, basically. Uh, and with, with the extra... Uh, you can see here, these guys, for example, are in need of... Uh, Toad uh, Artillery. Waiting for 19 towed artillery to be uh, produced and delivered. Okay, so. Uh, the need is pretty low. We do have a need for close S, but are we still running? Uh, that might. That's me being dumb. Uh, that's actually me being pretty dumb. I don't think the. Yeah, that. No, they, it does does look like they are. So let's uh, cancel these, just in case we have been losing. I don't think we've been losing any any planes. But we'll take them out of Eritrea. Eritrea? Yeah, Eritrea. Yeah. We'll take them out of Eritrea. Uh, so now we've got uh, a whole load of fighters, a few bombers, a few close air supports, like all that kind of stuff. We've got them uh, ready to be redeployed. I guess we're going to deploy them near Yugoslavia. <coughs> and <coughs> God damn, sorry. And then uh, have them supporting our, our invasion. Uh, so what I think we're going to do is... What do we need for this? Uh, oh, there's a lot of uh, cavalry in this tank division. I'm not a massive fan of that. And we can't really change it for now. Uh, so we'll have to live with it. Let's train... Probably t t 
to yeah it needs the infantry equipment as well and you can see again here like we've got the uh, basic infantry equipment as well so that's going to up our need for infantry equipment right here 549 uh, we don't need tanks yet how many tanks do we have we've got 235 not bad at all however when our research comes through on the light tanks uh, it's going to change the tune a little bit we're going to need to upgrade a lot again uh, pretty much, again, what we need is we need to get these civilian factories done so that we can start producing uh, military factories. Awesome! Okay, let's pause that. Worrying. Very worrying. Um, Alright, where do we want to go now? So, I think... 0.23 years. Uh, do we start with the... I mm, Yeah, I think we go radio. Get, get that radio done. Uh, and then we're going to move over... Do we want to get Army Primacy? I think we're going to we're gonna move on Yugoslavia quickly. We're going to get that claim. We're going to get the Albanian occupation. And then we'll let things simmer a bit and see how we go. Okay. So we'll get that national unity as well, which is going to be really useful. And you can see here, like, we can... Return the Dodecanese to Greece. We can release Libya. Uh, we can return territory to Yugoslavia. Uh, we can re release uh, Ethiopia. We're not going to, but we can. Uh, and we're almost there. So we're going to go into the war economy. Because uh, there's no downside to the war economy. And the world tension is... Ho How did the world tension go up? What happened? Who did something? Oh, okay, so it went up by 2% because of the uh, the Germans re reoccupied the Rhineland, which they're not supposed to do, but they did. Uh, so you can see what this is going to do. It's now going to up our civilian factories to 19. Um, and, you know, it hasn't changed how many we have. It's just freed some of them up for us, which is really nice. Um... And that's going to increase the speed with which we build the the civilian factories here. Um, and obviously, also, we're getting the... Uh, we're not getting construction. Sorry, yeah, we're getting the dispersed inventory, which will increase our civilian factory build. Uh, it's probably a little bit better uh, for, for um, the military factories, though, like how much they output. Uh, getting two towed artillery a day uh i think yeah i think it says here no it doesn't okay where does it say how long until we get the get a, there's somewhere that says like how long it's going to take for us to uh with our current production of artillery artillery equipment the shortage will last for 152 days so uh, you know it lets you know how long it's going to take you to get everything back uh, the infantry equipment has actually uh, been sorted, and we just need to keep upgrading. Uh, so, once we built the factories, we need six factories to get all of this. Uh, again, the naval bombers, the interwar bombers, not so much important. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'll take the interwar bombers off this list. For now, we don't need to be building that. Um... Yeah, again, you know, we we're we're not really doing great with the shipbuilding, but again, we do, we don't really need to be doing great with shipbuilding. Uh, is there any resources in? There's a little bit of aluminium and chromium. That's all right. I mean, we've got the aluminium. We don't have all the chromium we need. Uh, basically, slowing down our ship production. That's all. Which, again, you know, not a massive deal. Uh, a little bit more tungsten would be lovely. And I do believe there's tungsten. Nope. There's just a whole load more uh, aluminium and a little bit of steel. Oh, crap on a chromium, though. And then there's a bit of tungsten down in Greece. So maybe if we kind of take, like, this area, all of Greece, maybe. That, would, that could be the, you know, either we ally with Turkey, maybe go down into Iraq and then Iran. Uh, that would put us on the border with uh, the Soviets, though. Which is always a bad thing. 
But then again, they just boss through Poland and Romania if they want to. Um, Alright, well, 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 we'll worry about that later. We've got 23 days till a whole load of research is done. That's going to up our factory output, make us a little bit faster with the constructionings. Um, we'll keep it at speed 3 because there's really not too much happening right now. And we'll kind of, we'll keep, we'll keep planning our advances, uh, what we want to do. I mean, we could increase conscription. I don't think it's a good idea to go to extensive conscription. Or service by requirement, either. Um, you know, we don't want to reduce that factory output right now. You know, increasing the training time is actually acceptable. I think, however, getting the uh, the next thing, getting the no, sorry, it's captain of industry. Getting getting the captain of in industry as soon as possible means, you know, we increase that uh, civilian factory speed. And also, if we need the refinery or infrastructure, it does increase that as well. And then war industrialist, obviously, military factory construction speed is also going to really help us. We're screwed on re resources at the moment. Like, you know, like, we, we even need steel. Um, I mean, we, we need steel again for the uh, for the shipbuilding, so that's not as much of a of a worry, but um, no, it's, still, it's still a bit of a worry. Um, Alright. So, tension... Yeah, we, we, we generated low attention, and th the tension's going to go down. Uh, but we've managed to get the war economy, so we don't need to worry about tension so much. Um, and obviously we're just going to keep gaining political power, and just, uh, I don't know, we'll, 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 see, we'll, see how, we'll see how we go from here, pretty much. Uh, I, could I could speed it up even further, but I don't want to leave those of you who are uh, new to the game kind of behind... Um, is there any... Okay, so we completed... Let's go to our research. We completed this fighter, which means we're going to switch fighters. We could maybe go to one of these. I don't think it's worth it. What we can go to, however, is we can go to improved machine tools. Because we're 0 0.6 years uh, uh, ahead, so we're not ahead at all, basically. We can get the next dispersed industry... And we can get the, the construction here. So what we've basically done is we've made it to almost 1937. Uh, and these three became free. And we just basically got all of this. Now the next thing we would need to get over here is 1938. For the research speed time. So that's still a year ahead of what we're at. So we don't need to worry about that right now. I don't know what this is. Outdated equipment in production. That is fine. Uh, we now have the C200 Theta. Which, honestly, I've played a fair amount of War Thunder. I'm not a fan of the uh, Italian planes. They're not very maneuverable. I much prefer the Japanese, who are massively... They're like, their planes are so maneuverable. Uh, you know, even their later planes can outmaneuver the... Uh... Yeah, sorry. Even their later, plane, later planes can outmaneuver uh, the Bi-Wings... Uh, which is really impressive because those bi wings don't move that quickly, uh, so they maneuver pretty well. Uh, and the British planes as well, I really like. Um, but I have a ten I have a tendency on the other planes, like the German planes. Okay, Triumph in Africa's done. Uh, so we're gonna go. We could befriend Yugoslavia, make some drift towards fascist. I want. I want some of those resources. I think they could be really useful. So that's going to increase the... Uh, basically, we get a claim on Slovenia and D Dalmatia. Uh, and they... Uh, you know, fascists, fascism becomes less popular, this kind of thing. Uh, and all, all, the, all that kind of stuff. So... I do believe that we still need to justify a war goal with them. Um, but for now, we're not going to. Okay. Let's keep going. Alright. Uh, honestly, a little bit of a war would help, you know, train our armies and that kind of thing as well, so. And you can see our national unity has been boosted up a 
high, which is great. Uh, our manpower is pretty much okay. Uh, our, uh, our tank divisions are being trained. You know, uh, basically, as, as, as long as we have some tank divisions, once we upgrade, once we edit these uh, to include a few other things, we'll probably have, uh, like, probably have, like, one division of motorized infantry here. And then, like, tanks and tanks and, yeah, we, we, we won't... Maybe we'll just change it so it's, uh, like, motorized and then tanks. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, how, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Um got a few ships here. I've got a light cruiser, destroyer, and submarine. We could probably assign them somewhere. I, I don't feel the need right now. Uh, it's going to take a while for that to go. Uh, the L6 light tank, however, is going to pop soon, which is nice. Um, that may affect this training. I'm not sure. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. We're not in a massive rush to, to burn out units quite yet. Um, you see we're 15 out of 15 and 11 out of 15 here. So, uh, that'll... If we can get to 15 out of 15, 15 out of 15, that's great. We're producing, you know, technically speaking... Uh, two sets of civilian factories, and then it'll be you know military factories once once we get going with those. Uh, so we've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more. It's going to give us some room for uh, trading as well. Uh, so that's going to help us. You know, we can get a bit of tungsten, maybe uh, some rubber and uh, and and oil. That's that's going to be really nice. And obviously, we want to stay as friendly with people as we can for now, so we get those sweet, sweet resources, uh, those, those tradable resources, pretty much. Um, it's, it's really not... I'm tempted to trade the uh, tungsten, but you can see, like, we're producing artillery all right for now. So we don't need to, you know, worry too, too much. Uh, and you can see they all have their kind of speed. So even, uh, even like, even without the full resources, which kind of reduces the speed of production, uh, the artillery still, you produce more per day than you do light like, tanks. It's, you know, it's just how it is. And uh, one of the really nice things uh, about the, see, the dispersed infantry, you actually get increased uh, production efficiency retention. Uh, so this over here, uh, sorry, this here. Uh, it means you re retain when you like when you change something. So like at a factory, uh, you lose uh, the production efficiency, um, but you actually uh, you actually retain some uh, with that. This uh, dispersed inventory, in dispersed industry, which is really quite good. Okay, so we've got the light tank. Um, you can get like different. You know, you've got like the L three. Contra Caro, which are tank destroyers. You've got the artillery uh, tanks. You've got the anti-air tanks. All very useful. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to go into that. Uh, we got all of these. We could get resource gain efficiency. I'm not sure we need it right now, to be honest. Uh, none of these are going to be helpful right now. We could get this, the Perla class submarine. Uh, the land doctrines, they take quite a long time. We can reduce that as time goes on. Let's increase the artillery. Uh, the, the artillery damage, I think. We'll, in, uh, we'll change this so that now it actually takes more... St oh, no, no, no. We got, we got the steel we need. Uh, apologies there. That was me being a dumb butt. Um... So now, obviously, we're upgrading uh, needed for for these. Well, what what tank are we on? We're on the L six. Doesn't it's uh... ah okay. So light tanks. We got uh, three L sixes, four L sixes, and obviously it's uh, replacing the L threes. Now, what's kind of cool is 
Uh, so, for example, over over with these tanks, you can see here, uh, they've got 60 of the L3s. Slowly, uh, they'll be replaced with the L6s. But if you don't have enough, like if if we were to build, uh, if we were to build another, um, set another unit up to train, um, of tank uh, of tank divisions, uh, it would include the L3s. So they train with the L3s, and then they'd replace the L6s as L6s became available. Uh, these guys here. So we're now getting 5.99 a week. Uh, that's because our production of efficiency dropped. Which means, uh, again, we'll just have a look here. Where's the tanks? Tanks. Uh, of course, because we have those, it, it doesn't tell us how long it will take to upgrade them. So yeah, the, the light the light tanks are needed and upgrading and and reinf mm, not reinforcing. We need more artillery for that. But again, we're we're making two artillery a day. That's pretty good. I'm I'm happy with that. Um, all right. There we go. Uh, that's going to increase the world tension a bit. Uh, yeah, Italian claims on Yugoslavia. There we go. Uh, so we're going to take the Albanian occupation. There we go. Which will give us Albania here. Not amazing technically speaking, but we can move this unit in and then we've got three fronts where we're going to be fighting them, which is really nice. Uh, and we're going to have a couple extra, uh, hopefully four tanks to reinforce here. Uh, and actually, how is our, how is our infantry equipment? 2.9? It'd be nice to up that very soon, but, um... We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. Alright, so let's give uh, these blue guys... They're going to have somewhere to go very soon. Uh, let's give them... Not a field marshal. I think a general's enough. So, Italo Balbo will do. Uh, we are going to add in the... Just did that as well. Okay, so the captain of industry. That's going to speed up uh, the construction of these very nicely um and we just uh what is this radio so we could get the radar stations they are very useful but we're not going to be building them for a while again the resource gain not so much we've got 0.83 years so we can build something else uh we have a heavy fighter pretty useful uh we have the uh is this the tactical bomber? Yeah. So we have the tactical bomber and the strategic bomber. Tactical bombers are more useful, I believe, at ground attack. Yeah. Yeah, these guys can't even do ground attacks. And uh, these guys here... Yeah, I, I, again, you know, fairly... Uh, they're, they're more... Uh, Protecting es escort protection, so protecting bombers. Uh, if we want to go into that, uh, but I think I think we'll pass. I think we'll do this submarine now. Uh, it seems like the right time to. Mm, you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna switch that. I I don't like that idea. Um, we could do marines or paratroopers. Paratroopers is very fun, very useful. Let's get that. Uh, uh. So we could get this in preparation for later. I think I'm not going to uh, yet. Again, we have... Uh, this is anti-air artillery. This is anti-tank artillery. Uh, can be very useful. Uh, we got the land doctrines. Mm. Okay, okay. Let's make, let's make the decision. Let's make the decision to go for... Some paratroopers. That's fine. Let's let's go for the paratroopers for now. And you can see here with our research time, uh, it's uh, been reduced a little bit, which is very nice. However, we have got to the end of this episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do not forget, uh, you can always ask a question in the comments. I'll answer them to the best of my ability, obviously, about the game. If you want to ask someone else, feel free. 
so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It always helps me out a lot, and I do really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.